All right, good morning, everyone. Let's make sure my volume's up. Yep. Well, good morning <laughs> again. <laughs> I'm Jan Erickson, and welcome to Somewhat Daily Tarot and Rune for the 11th day of October 2018. So because we have an 11 day and an 11 year, if we were to add those two together, we would have 22, which is another master number. This one is the cosmic builder. So, and if we left the 10 for October alone and reduced it to one, we would have new beginnings. And then uh, two of them would be having to do with illumination or the cosmic builder. So what are we building toward illumination or based on illumination? You know, we've learned a lot to date, haven't we? So what will the future look like? What will we build for the future, perhaps? Uh, one is new beginnings. So are we on the precipice of, of beginning something new that's based on the enlightenment and, and illumination, you know, or enlightenment gained from illumination that's brought, you know, so far this year from so many different sources, whether it's been journalism, authors, uh, writing books, uh, people in the know, people present, uh, people watching, the behavior. So, you know, I guess we'll decide what it is we're going to do about that, I suppose. There's an election in just a couple of more weeks, I guess. So we'll see. We'll see if that portends something new or a continuation of, you know, whatever this stuff is. So. Well, if you haven't been here before, welcome. I hope you click subscribe and come back. What I do is I pull a card and then I do a rune. I pull a rune out of the rune bag. Sometimes I do more than that. Depends on what I pull. So if it's a court card, I'm going to do another card automatically because they need help to really understand them fully. My process is I count 13 cards. I take the 13th one, and that's the one for today. So let's do that. Well, we have the Three of Pentacles, which we have had before. It's been a while, but we've seen this one before. We see a man talking to a couple of people that have stopped by. He's uh, working on his craft. Pentacles is about our physical presence in the world, wealth, you know, legacy, things like that. It's the earth element. And you can see that he's, he's, uh, this is about mastery and triplicity. But you can see that he's really my yeah, it's here. Looks like I left it on. So I don't get well, it's not very bright today. Look at that. It seems to recharge itself, which is weird. But anyway, he's standing on a bench. And he's uh, doing some stonework. He's a mason. And the folks have come by to admire his work. When we think threes, we think catalytic energy, we think mind, body, spirit. But basically, what we're talking about here is even progress and balance. Uh, it can also mean a commercial transaction. Maybe they're coming by to take a look at what he's doing, and they maybe he, they want him to do something for them. But basically, you've got an interaction here, don't you? either an interaction with the self and the craft itself that you're, that you're doing. But it's about also creation, isn't it? It's creative energy. And you're bringing all of that into this skill that you can then offer to the world, can't you? Because it's really not just only about him. You know, he's not sitting in a solitary fashion working on something where he's maybe developing something or needing the solitude for whatever it is he's doing. Here he's interacting. But let's, 
let's take another card. I want to know either where this came from or where he's going to go with it. But basically, you're seeing the interplay between three things, either three people, or you've got the three pentagrams above. So basically, you're looking at a triplicity of, of, of energy here. But let's do another card. Well, here we have the Eight of Swords, and this is an interesting one because this one is about not getting in the way of your own thought process. So don't overthink. So this may be about actually allowing this energy just to flow unhindered, allowing that integration and that balance to then provide the catalyst for something else. But here, we're saying don't, don't overthink it. Because here she's kind of bound by her own thought process. Too much is going on in her head. So there's no integration, is there? She's trying, you know, she's got her blindfold on, which either means she just can't look at it anymore or she's aligning either way to try to figure things out. But, but too much is happening around her and she's bound, you see. It's just all too much. So I think for the three to flow successfully, we kind of got to get out of the way of that process, don't we? And just allow things to come to us. And maybe that's the true message of this, you know, just get out of the way of the process and just let things flow to you. Let's just let's see what the rune has to say. Because remember, it's a new beginnings for October. Today is an 11 day, that's an illumination, and it's an 11 year. Well, here we have Lagus, again, flow, which reinforces the whole thing, doesn't it? Just allowing the integration of mind, body, and spirit, and all the things that can flow from and to. Lagos is, uh, is the 21st rune of the Elder Futhark, making it three numerologically, which aligns with today's card, doesn't it? But it's about our intuition. Magically, it can be used uh, to in an alignment ritual or, or an alignment meditation. You can visualize Lagos and chant Lagos as you as a, as a like a hook to draw back all energies. So if you were if you're going to do something, say you wanted to. Uh, I hate this expression, but it's used, so I'll say it this way, cutting etheric cords. What etheric cords are, if you don't know, every thought, every, everything is thought manifested, all right? Well, whether we think it's manifested or not, even if we just think it and, and we think it doesn't go anywhere, well, it does. If you think about somebody, you create a channel of energy to that person. And so sometimes we just need to sever those things just to bring everything back to center uh, particularly if if the the connection that we make is is not a healthy one, or we're we're say someone is being vampiric with us, extending vampiric energy toward us. We look at it. There's the connection. All right. At some point, we might have to sever that. Well, I don't. Since we're all one energetically in source energy, I don't like or and I don't even think it's possible to sever energy from one another. I think that we can dissolve it and move attention away from it though. And then it, and then if it's vampiric at all, then it doesn't bother us anymore. We don't allow it to, to come into our own energy field. But that doesn't mean that we sever because I don't think that's possible. You know, I mean, the creator is all that is. How do you sever anything within that? So, so I just like to visualize it just as dissolving and turning attention away from. And Lagus is a nice thing to chant silently when I do that. It's just a focus to, to allow those energies to settle out and they're no longer reaching out to anyone and I'm not allowing 
anyone else to reach toward me. I just kind of want to just be in my own little space. <clears throat> and so Laguz is a really nice one to do that. Well, when you're practicing your craft, whatever that is, and in this case, you know, this guy's doing some really lovely stonework on maybe some kind of a chapel or 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 some kind of a church or 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 because it looks pretty ornate. So or or it could be maybe uh, at the castle, for example, if this is you know if if maybe he's working for the king or something. But it's very ornate, isn't it? But but basically, when that process is happening, when you're in that moment, I mean, if you're the creative sort at all, you know, whether I don't care what it is, even if it's just, you know, making something for dinner, I don't I tend to cook intuitively. And so I just think, well, I want to have this and OK, this might be nice. And well, this seems nice. And well, OK, I might like to taste this with it. And and maybe and then I go to the herbs and, and whatnot. And, and I'm thinking, well, this might be nice to add. And maybe I want to have this effect and all it. So pretty soon, you know, I have this magical potion going, that's our dinner. And, uh, but it, it's just a nice, you get into the moment and into the flow of it. And pretty soon you're all caught up in that present moment awareness. It's just, you're, you're creating and it's wonderful, you know, or, or even, even if you're, if, if you're doing a research paper in school, you know, you start putting things together and you start realizing this pattern and you get an idea and you push it forward. And pretty soon you have this, this five page paper that you're going to turn in and it's wonderful. And the process was really great. And so it's that, but what you're experiencing is that flow of energy and that's integrated and that's mind, body, spirit. And that's the Whole, and, and that's why the, it's considered catalytic, you know, the whole triplicity and the whole catalyze, catalyzing nature of that. Everything coming together in synchronicity and harmony to create something new. And then when, you know, you're all done, you can just lug ooze your way back to, you know, bliss. <laughs> so anyway, something to think about today. Practice your craft, whatever it is, and do something creative. And... Uh, allow that energy to flow together of mind, body, and spirit, and see just exactly what, uh, what might transpire. You just never know. Well, that's all I got for today. It, this, has been, uh, this has been fun. I, 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 it's always fun when I can draw more cards. One day I drew two cards in two runes. That was fun. So in any event, thank you so much for stopping by. I've been putting these, just writing these up just a little, just a little paragraph. Well, it's not a paragraph, but I, I've been just writing these up the last, this last week. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that each time on the blog. Um, so go over to, to Stepping Aside at imsteppingaside.com and check that out. Uh, I do write other things on there. So there's a grimoire, there's a Materia Medica. Uh, if you're if you're into herbs, so you can find out about stuff like that. There's a thing on some stuff on cannabis, um, just all kinds of things. So check it out if you like. Um, but I guess have a lovely weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Thanks again for stopping by and hit subscribe if you like. So have a lovely day. Have a lovely weekend. This has been somewhat daily tarot and rune. I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside, and blessed be.